Abu Dis is not far at all from East Jerusalem's old city, less than two miles in fact. However, the Israeli-built security wall separating Abu Dis from Jerusalem, meant to stop terrorist attacks, makes it nearly an hour's drive away. Adjoining the wall is an abandoned building originally built to be the Palestinian state parliament after a final peace agreement with Israel. The mayor of Abu Dis says that since the wall was built, the town feels cut off from Jerusalem. My heart is going on the other side. It's like the air I smell is coming from the other side, from Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the historical city for us. Jerusalem is the economic city for us. Jerusalem, the health city for us because all of the, our hospital is in Jerusalem. His view of Jerusalem is echoed by Palestinian political activists who reject Trump's plan, making neighborhoods like Abu Dis the capital of a future Palestinian state. I was born in Abu Dis, and I love it very much, but we refuse this idea to make Abu Dis the capital of Palestine. Abu Dis is surrounded by the wall, and our capital is Jerusalem. That will always be the capital of Palestine. Between Abu Dis and the nearby Israeli settlement of Malaya Dumim is the Palestinian town of Azariya, known to Christians as Bethany. While nearly half of its population are officially Jerusalem residents, it is completely under the control of the Palestinian Authority. Mayor Isam Foran argues that his town's autonomous Palestinian identity doesn't give it the status of a state capital, as suggested in the Trump plan. To say Azariya or Abu Dis or Shafat is a capital, the, the, the value of our location because we are close, very close to Jerusalem. Without our Jerusalem, we are nothing here. What capital? Oh, we are telling small boy, you are the big man. Trump may want to make a mark with a Middle East peace deal, but the feeling on the streets of the West Bank is that a Palestinian state is further away than ever. Linda Gradstein for VOA News, Abu Dis.